Good morning guys. Uh, what a beautiful day. Not too cold, not too hot. Today we have this Vauxhall Insignia in for a turbo replacement. She's, she got recovered here by the RAC because uh, she's experiencing loss of power, no acceleration. Check engine light is on, turbo on the boost. Uh, we actually came here last week to check what is up and why that code is coming up and uh, we found out that the turbo is completely shot. When we were here last week, she actually said that she's had the car since new and it's a 2016. She said that I've never had this car serviced. So she's basically saying that she's never had an oil train. She's, she's not looked after this car. But now I've chat to her, I told her, look, get it serviced once a year every 12 months or every 10,000 miles so now this is uh, what will happen if you don't service your car the turbo will start to go and all other stuff and the uh, report shows that they checked it that it's got really bad turbo wine the um the shaft and the propeller is likely to be uh, worn or let's say gone finished broken have a look in there you can just about see why that turbo went you can see there, that's a solid gunk of oil. So as you can imagine, it's 2023 now, 2016. It's, it's a long time to not service a vehicle. This is what happens if you don't service the car. It will cost you more money to basically fix and replace whatever is the consequence of not replacing the oil in time. So anyway, um, we're gonna get started. We're gonna remove that turbo and I'll show you as well how bad it is and stuff so right i'm gonna run a time lapse we'll see you then Turbo is out, as you can see, that thing is just not there anymore. So, yeah, propeller and the shaft is completely buggered. And in the process, unfortunately, the return snap literally moved it a little bit. And as you can see here, it's brittle as anything. What I was mentioning earlier in regard to servicing the car if you just so zoom in a gunk in there and it's disgusting as you can see so yeah we're gonna drain the oil and then put fresh oil in there and the flush so that we can get rid of the gunk we're gonna need new pipe as well for this we'll get on it collect the um new turbo and then we'll come back here cool now we have got the uh the new turbo in here right there they're saying that this occurrence on this 1.4 T's for Vauxhalls, they're saying that like it's common. This is my usual turbo supplier. And they've said that yesterday alone, they did like three or four turbos, these exact turbos. So there is probably something wrong that's going on with the uh, design, but she did not service her car since 2016, seven years that it wasn't serviced. Yikes. Anyway. We'll head back, do a flush on the system. Come out of our supplier. Yeah? So we have got two sets of oil filter. One of them is for the flush. And one of them obviously is for the final one. We've got an engine flush here as well. We need to thin out the carbon buildup so that it flushes out the system. Drain the oil and then put the good one in. Put man filter in there as well. We'll catch you once we get back to the customers. All right, new turbo is in. New oil feed pipe, as you can see. The other one was clogged. I don't know what's happened, but somewhere in between, 
carbon dump so we had to replace it i couldn't get rid of it i tried cleaning it my cleaner won't even go through it's got a new return pipe pretty much everything is new including the actuator say for example your oil is old feed pipe for the oil what happens is if you just come from a drive and then you just stop the oil that's in there what would happen is it would actually turn into carbon and that's what will cause it to get blocked but anyway we are now changing the oil we'll idle it for about 20 minutes and then we'll go from there even good things even good things check this out guys look at that that paper is full of crap in between and it just ripped and this was supposed to be on top it wasn't it was just floating i was like okay let me give it a pull and then it just came off all right well we'll change this uh, to a new one with new oil in there as well all right so a new filter is in now we have to put four liters of this this is why i need that tool that ben's got come on chug it down mate there you go that's four liters we'll turn the engine on bring it to operating temperature and then add that one okay right so far no leaks coming from the top I'm mainly looking at that that and here as well seems like there is no leak anywhere else um, but I'm gonna close this bonnet up because it's raining I don't really want the stuff getting wet close it a little bit and then let it idle hold on we need to close this as well <laughs> well that's empty I'll get up again uh, that's great isn't it the rain's just picking up whilst I'm doing this we need to get it to temperature anyway not there yet we'll leave it idling once it's on temperature we're going to change the oil all right she's now running in temperature so we're going to put the engine flush in there hopefully this clears up carbon build up that's in there now we're going to run her again that would take for another 15 to 20 minutes all right here we go new rubber gasket in new man filter in there turn that one up torque it to spec it looks a lot better than how it was there's still gunk and stuff like that and that can really only come off over time but i'm gonna advise her next five six thousand miles get the oil change again and, uh, and then another five thousand miles after that get the oil change and then she can have the normal interval of ten thousand miles for, uh, every year we'll put the new oil in there okay and then my phone died yeah great we're investing on a new camera anyway yeah in regards to the insignia it's all done it's all sorted customer is happy obviously we've advised her to regularly service her car or if she hears any knocks and bangs or anything like that hopefully she doesn't to just uh, get it sorted get it looked at straight away before it becomes anything bigger than it actually is um that job it was fine it was not bad at all the only long thing about it is that obviously i had to travel to my supplier to get the turbo because they want an exchange and then i had to go to my other supplier to get the parts for the oil change and then i had to travel back to her that believe it or not probably took me about two and a half hours in total quite a straightforward job anyway guys uh thank you very much for watching please leave a like and subscribe as well that'd be amazing thank you very much for watching peace Thank you.